Hi, I'm Mike Champo. Welcome to this segment of Training Minutes. Today we're going to discuss tower ladder bucket placement, okay? At flat roofs, it doesn't matter if you have front opening doors or side opening doors. We want to get this bucket up on the roof level. With front opening doors, if we just position it right level with the roof and step out in heavy smoke conditions, transferring of a tool, if we get some tar on our boot or some ice on the roof, when we're transferring back into the bucket, we, have, we might fall off the roof line, right? If we put the bucket totally up on the roof, we're lessening those chances. Remember, when we come up to this tower ladder positioning with the parapet, right, we don't want to come in equal with the roof. With my safety belt on, I'm all right. But we can see, coming up, Right? It's an easy walkway, but what do we have here? We have the danger of a firefighter falling in the smoke, transferring his weight over if he's moving tools. So it's better to get every bucket up over this roof level. As we're operating this bucket, right? Depending on who's operating and watching, we have the chauffeur watching below us, right? We can't judge the distance because of the solid floor. The operator with the joystick or the controls, he's watching the movement, he's watching down. Our safety man's on the pedestal. He's watching the bottom of the bucket. Now that we're over the roof level, Right, again, remember, as we come down, maintain our position, sound that roof, make sure it's solid, use a tool. If we have to exit the roof, we don't have to worry about being near the roof line. Our bucket's over here, a work area, even space, okay? We're able to get back up in the bucket safely without positioning ourselves near the edge of the roof. That's very important when we're at flat roofs. You can see you have no parapet here, it's very easy to go over. And here's a quick tip to remember. If smoke conditions get so unbearable up here, we shouldn't be walking on this roof. Move forward, push a tool in front of you, crawl. Always remember where your second means of egress and your way off the roof is. All right, when we have buildings with parapet walls, right, although this one doesn't, right, if we have a three to four foot parapet, we want to have the operator shoot up and over the parapet wall, right? This operator here, he knows it's high, he's gonna clear it. The operator on the pedestal is watching underneath the bucket. So he's gonna come up past the parapet wall. Our control operator, what he'll be doing is, he'll glance over to the right, he can glance over his right shoulder. He could also ask the other person here, what's it look like? What he's doing is, he's gonna look, glance over the back of this bucket and he's gonna wait to the bucket clears the parapet wall. It might be 12 inches, 6 inches, 18, but he wants to ensure that this comes over. All right, we're going to make believe we have a two to three foot parapet. He glances over. He's got to go a little bit more because he's got to have this boom clear it. Now he says clear. We're ready to drop down below the parapet now. With this particular apparatus, we're lucky. What we're going to do is we're going to watch the L bracket. It's on this side of the parapet. He could bring the boom section right down to the brick of the parapet wall. You can see our clearance here, okay? If we have to, he could even retract a little bit and get tighter to the parapet. Remember, before we get out of the bucket, we want to sound the roof, okay? We'll open the door. We can see we have a larger drop, all right? That means we're probably gonna have to sit down. What we'll do is we'll take that hook Right? We're going to sound that roof. All right? It's solid. Hit it with some good force. We could either drop our tool, lay it, hook it up here, see what we're going to need it. All right? I just don't want to jump down. I'm going to maintain some type of position. I'm going to lower myself and feel it. My partner, he can have me and also assist if I have to. All right? If your belts are long enough for your safety belts, you can get down with your belt on, then unclip. In this bucket, they're not long enough, right? Going back up, we might have to boost one of us up there, 
right? and then the other guy grabs the other guy to leave the roof area. Remember, we came over a high parapet wall and there's a drop. Many tower ladders carry some type of folding ladder, right? This is a telescoping ladder for high parapets. Some departments might have a scissor ladder up on the bed section of the boom or under the escape rails. Here, this company chooses to use a telescoping ladder. We also could undo that off the brackets, open it up, and have that come right off the side of the bucket for our access and egress off the roof. And remember, when we're leaving the roof, we might have more firefighters getting in the bucket, okay? We might have more tools and equipment. We grab somebody else's saw. The bucket might lower a little bit. The main thing for both operators to remember is we need to boom up so that we don't retract and take the parapet wall down. I hope you enjoyed this session of Training Minutes. I'm Mike Champo. Thanks for watching.